I really want this to end, but there's a lot more to this story to the JT disqualification. That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and thank you. Thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you to all the new members. Thank you to all the new the people who comment constantly are interactive. I really, really, really appreciate it. It is humbling. It's an awesome experience. It makes me want to do more videos, and I'm really so appreciative. I can't even I can't even tell you how appreciative I am. So thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, you should be because it's free. And all you gotta do is click that button and become part of the team. I just finished a video on JT just a couple days ago, I think. This disqualification is something that still has lots more layers to it. It's like an onion. Once you think you have the top layer pulled off, that's the bad part, there's something underneath it that just adds more to the controversy of this disqualification. Here's what we know. JT was informed that he would be polygraphed on Friday. He was actually told Monday, on that Monday prior to it, that he had someone protest him for gathering waypoints or the possibility of gathering waypoints. Number two, David Mullins was the person who protested that. And that's why JT was polygraphed. Third, David Mullins said that Nick Hatfield told him that a cameraman that was on his boat on the MLF that was just there the week before was selling waypoints and that JT's number was on that. Fourth, Nick Hatfield denied that and said, I didn't do that and doesn't want any part of this whole situation, doesn't want to hurt his brand, so he has stayed silent. Fifth, we knew that MLF was going to look into the whole deal. They were going to investigate the cameraman. They were going to investigate the allegations that this was happening because this affects them as much as it affects Bass. And what affects Bass affects JT. And we know that Major League Fishing has stayed very silent. However, I do know that they were doing an investigation to find out if the allegations and rumors were true. And you asked me, what happened with the Major League Fishing investigation? And I wondered, really, what did happen? So I reached out to them today, and they told me that, although we saw the rumors as well, we're close, we're not sure where or how those rumors got started. MLF did look into those rumors and no cameraman or anyone else provided JT Tompkins with any information or waypoints. They also said the rumor mill is going crazy on this. So, first off, where did David Mullins get this information? This has hurt JT's brand. He's lost sponsorships. Also, at the same time, JT probably has to be very careful about what he says online. In the past, Bass has found anglers who speak up, and they sign a contract that if they say anything derogatory about Bass, that it can come back and haunt them, that they can be fined, that they can be, that penalties can happen. And while JT might have more information that he could share with us, he probably can't, and that stinks. That's the part of the industry that really stinks. It sucks. Transparency inside the organizations is something they hide from the public and the media at all times. And while I still agree that if you fail that polygraph, that they have to do what they have to do. But when you start looking into it and Major League Fishing saying, no, nothing happened. And Major League Fishing isn't going to put out a press release to say that. Major League Fishing isn't here to help bass. They are competing against each other. While they don't want to hurt one another at times, they, found, they did their due diligence and found out nothing was nothing happened. And they probably shared that information with Bass, and who knows what Bass did with it. I don't even know if they shared that information with Bass. But they're not going to come out with a press release to say it, because it really doesn't help them. They went back and looked looked into it, and nothing. There was a nothing, it was a nothing burger. But now you have to start thinking, why didn't Bass try to make something, try to make this better? And I know they can't because the tournament's over, and there's lots of reason why they can't go back and, and resolve this issue. But it leads to a lot of questions on the transparency, on what's going on in bass, or if the rumor mill hurts anglers. If the rumor mill says if you go if someone protests you and you fail that polygraph and you get disqualified, and that rumor is false, where does that leave the angler? In the case of JT losing sponsors, hurting his brand, and he really is very 
sure that he is innocent of all these, all these allegations. And Bass isn't going to come back and say, oh, you, you want to know what? We were wrong. But they should. But this is another part of the industry that just, I don't know why it, it, it's this way. And I know that for years, Bass and all organizations don't want any bad press. They will just sweep it under the rug. It's, it's how it's happened for 20 years. But at what point are you now hurting one of your young anglers and his reputation? And I know as I grew up, and this is for me, my dad was very vocal and still to this day to say, your reputation is the one thing that you need in life. Your reputation is the utmost importance. If you have a bad reputation, then things, people believe those, those rumors. And in this case, now JT is trying to rebuild his brand. And Bass isn't going to say anything. Major League Fishing isn't going to say anything. But as fans and anglers, he's tarnished. His brand is tarnished. And I agree. The Waypoint issue is something I'm going to always agree with. But if he failed it because of something that happened when he was allowed to do it, then we need to look at how that polygraph is done. Or if the polygrapher is qualified to do it. And that might be the issue. I don't know. I don't know what the resolution to this is. But I want to know what you think. Now that we know a little bit more, what should be done? I did burp in the middle of that. So you tell me in the comments below, does this help reestablish and help JT's brand with this little nugget from MLF? Comment below and tell me what you think. I hope you guys had a blessed weekend. Thank you for everything. Thank you for hitting that like and subscribe button. I'm really, I'm truly honored. I'm truly honored. So thank you. But take your kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will talk to you soon. Cheers and thank you.